Good morning and welcome to a beautiful winter morning in Florida. Uh, as you can see the temperature and humidity right here it's absolutely beautiful we got a nice little breeze and I have a very special engine to run. Um, I don't know about a week or so ago I made a quick look video of this OS FS Alpha 155P engine and in that video I mentioned that it could be months before I actually got around to running this engine. Well, if any of you, you recall the Star, Star Trek Wrath of Khan movie, there was a line between Captain Kirk and Spock about, about hours meaning, or days meaning minutes. And uh, well, I guess in a way, my months meant days because I got the urge put this on the stand and run it. Now as you can see I've actually got it fitted with a spinner because because of the high compression ratio and the size of the engine I thought it might be better for my starter to try and turn this over and of course it's also recommended in the instructions. So I've got this set up here. I've got a nice new set of fuel tubing, a nice inline fuel filter, a tank full of Omega 5% fuel, a used, not brand new, OSF glow plug, and an APC 1610 prop. Now, the instructions recommend a certain way to start this engine, and I don't prime it and start it, and I don't particularly care for that. So I'm going to prime it my own way and start it the way they say, but I'll put the instructions up here so you can see exactly what they say. This is the first time this engine's ever seen fuel, ever been run, so it's going to be a break-in run. <clears throat> I'm going to try and break it in according to what OS says to do also, which they say to run it at full throttle the whole time and then just cool the engine down and vary the RPM by playing with the high speed needle. We'll see how that goes. But at some point I'm going to want to see how the engine idles too, so let's just fire it up and see how she sounds. Okay, so I've got the throttle open fully. Now they say to open the throttle fully, put the spinner on it, and spin it for about five seconds, but I'm not going to do that to choke it. I'm going to put my finger over this and rotate it until I see fuel coming out, like it just did. And I'm going to back it out just to make sure it's not over primed. And then they say close it, open it a quarter turn put the nice starter on it and fire it up. So let's see what happens here.
Okay, well, um, I have to say that was a very strange run. I don't, I don't know. That was just a weird run for a, an engine. I've not had a lot of experience with pumped engines. And quite honestly, I wasn't really impressed with this one. I was trying to do as the OS instruction said, which was, <laughs> I thought I had it at full throttle, but it was only at half throttle for about the first half of the tank. Then I put it at full throttle, but I was just varying the RPM with the high-speed needle, but it was hard to tell how much to turn it to just move it off RPM slightly. So there were times where it really went low. I opened it up too much, and then I would lean it out too much because it took time, I don't know, three, four seconds maybe, for it to catch up with the adjustment, which any non-pumped four-stroke engine I've ever run has never taken that much time to see an adjustment. So that was a challenge for me on this run was to see how much of a movement would require it to go between the, they say, near peak and then, you know, I don't know, maybe 2,000 RPM lower to cool it down. As you can see, something happened during the run. Maybe it detonated slightly or something because this spinner started to disintegrate which is good for me I've got a true turn spinner that I'll put on it next time um, but yeah this was kind of scary in a way um, I'm not really sure that was the most pleasant first run of an engine I've ever had in my life that's for sure it sure has got massive compression now and it didn't even go through all this fuel in the tank but anyway such as it is, that's the first run of this OS FS Alpha 155P. Um, I've had better runs, but it was interesting all, this, all the same, I guess.